So we're just now at the Mencia cart ruts. These are very interesting. They are there's 152 meters of these in total. First recorded in 1934 by E.B. Bella. Uh, and the distance between them on these particular ones are about 1.4 meters. So like three or four feet across. Now most of these they believe could be Bronze Age, but they could be much earlier, thought to be quarrying marks, thought to be where uh, various um, carts were dragged along by donkeys and such things, but there's no evidence, no hoof prints anywhere, any of these ruts in the whole of Malta. It's quite an impressive array here, just north of Sliema, in a village or small town called Sanguan. There are different theories, there's a whole Atlantean theory, for instance, that's been put forward where Plato describes these water channels cut into the rock for irrigation and uh, other such things. So it's been suggested that, that, you know, that Atlantis was in the Mediterranean and indeed this could have been part of it. Uh, how it would have moved water around we don't know because there's slopes it would have had to go up and down slopes. However, there is evidence where there's been later cuts put from cart ruts where water would collect to go into cisterns or drainage areas where people could collect drinking water. So the water thing we don't know, it's a possibility. There's other theories, uh, obviously. One of them is that it came out by this Russian scientist just a few couple of years ago who claimed that they're 7 to 14 million years old. He mainly did his research on the Phrygian cart ruts in Turkey, central Turkey, but he, he applied them to Malta as well, suggesting there was an ancient civilization, I mean, extremely ancient, Michael Cremo forbidden archaeology territory existing, and they were driving around in some kinds of vehicles and they left their marks clearly on the rock in the limestone when it was slightly soft perhaps or they used it over and over again. The, one of the strange things about the cart ruts is the fact that they appear to be always upright so even if you go around a corner in a car you know the, the wheels will turn slightly but they don't do that these cart ruts so there's some kind of stabilization technology if it was a kind of vehicle that was being used some kind of um, you know two-wheeled or four-wheeled truck or rut cart or something like this and so there's lots of different ideas other ideas that they carved out and they were ceremonial they mark earth energy currents or even underground water currents uh, and there's many many different theories but so this has been well preserved obviously many of them haven't but you can see the depth of some of these here if we just uh, get in there you can see there's like 20 or 30 centimeters depth and over here they're even bigger even deeper Let's take a walk along here, see what we can see. And you can see how deep they are just here. Now that's just straight away. We can see that these are very deep. These are about 30 or 40 centimeters deep at least. And like you can kind of see they just stay this deep on this particular side. There's an interesting anomaly up there we'll look at in a moment. But here as well, you can just see that very deep channels cut into the rock. There's even other cuts, but here is intriguing because you've got what looks like two ruts, like a later one following the same track, if, it, if that's what it was, and then in a, in a slightly higher level. So the more ancient rut further deeply cut into the rock is still there, but the younger cut, the younger rut really is still going along it. You can see that it goes along a little way there. So let's just keep walking down here, see if we spot any other anomalies. But you can see the whole rock sinks down here, but still they chose to go around this particular spot here, through the deeper part of the rock. So yeah, just picking up on some things here and also we can see what looks like multiple ruts going along on this right hand one yeah 
going to get shallower here, but this is cut deeply into this limestone. They get really wide here on the right there. Look, look how wide that is. That's a lot wider than it was back there. We also have another one here, a really late one going over the top. Look at this. It's very confusing <laughs> as to what these really are. They look like they're carved out. They don't look like actual tracks, which is the main consensus on what they really are. And you can see here, this is where they go off in one direction there, and then they go off in a different direction there. So it's like a, a junction, almost like train tracks. That's actually how Clapham Junction got its name, because there's so many of these here. So this is the spot here where it changes direction. If we just walk down the middle between them, you can see how they veer off in these two different directions. But let's follow this one first. You can see how deep they are there. And on this side. And these go round in a curve. And there's two here again. There's two next to each other. And there's two on this side as well. So it, it does seem like two different vehicles have been going along here at different times. And somehow it's softened the rock as it's moved through. So it does seem like it's softened the rock as it's moved through here because there's two different ruts in certain places. And again, it goes off again here in a different direction. So let's just continue walking down here. Let's continue walking down here right to the end. Then we'll walk back again along the other one. See, so it gets very deep there again. You almost join back up. The other one now joins back up with this one. So they're kind of taking two different routes, like train tracks, and then meeting back up again. And here it gets crazy. Look, there's multiple ones here. It's like three or four here, all meeting up in the same place. <laughs> 